Welcome everyone. So I'm very excited for this one. I got two Tops 24 Series 1 uh, hangers. Last time that I opened one of these on the channel, I got a nicely numbered card. The player wasn't that great, but the card was, I think, numbered to 50. So as they say, hangers have bangers. So I'm going to try again. These were the last two that they had at Target. So I snagged them up. And let's see if we can keep the uh, good luck with the hangers going. Let's get it. Okay, let's open this first hanger. There we go. There it is. Let's get it. Okay, there we are. So this is going to be a lot of base. It's what, 50, like 56 cards, 50 something. So we'll go through these at a decent pace. And at some point, we'll start hitting the um, either parallels or inserts that might be in here if we are lucky. There we got some rookies. Hey, Corbin Carroll with the tops. What is it? Star rookie cup, whatever it is. He needs to pick up the pace, but he's talented. He's just in one of those extended ruts okay this one looks pretty cool i don't know why it looks a little bit different than the other ones uh showy and the crew there are the cubs Seth brown blue jays unite that's another um team that has been quite disappointing the blue jays were kind of going to be this team of the future and dominate the uh, AL East, and they have fallen short. And from last time I read, they might be sellers, so they might start to move some of that uh, talent that they have over there, which is really, really disappointing. It's unfortunate. I think the, the Blue Jays deserve um, to be a good team once again. The 90s, they won a couple of championships, and then it's been all downhill from there. Okay, so soon. There's the Yankees. I like that with the green hat. Uh, oh, that's a badass picture right there for Esteuri Ruiz. Okay, there we go. Getting a shower there. We have a blue of Merrill Kelly. We have something, oh, there's an Anthony Rizzo. These blue, no. Yeah, these are just uh, blue parallels. Why is this Rizzo backwards? Okay, we got the rainbow foil, I believe this is. Yep, there it is. Nice color there. And then the hangers do have these uh, yellow Yellow parallels. We got Andrew Vaughn. Boom. Okay, I guess we only get two. We can't remember. Rosarena on the 35th. And then we get all the um, stars of MLB. These are everywhere and quite prevalent. Garrett Cole on the sketch. I think it is. These cards are kind of nice. I believe that's what they call, right? Mm, sketch something. Can't remember, but they, they're pretty cool. Also, uh, not that rare. And then we continue here. I have to check in the back of them because some of them might be um you know like short print or anything like that i believe but there we go that was our first um hanger second hanger let's go let's get it and there we go let's begin okay maybe i am in the wrong orientation there we go, Morel. Morel has actually, is he's playing pretty well. 
I like it. I like it a lot. Okay, this is looking just like the other one. We got this Corbin Carroll. Is this going the same? No, I don't think Medeiros was there. There's the polar bear. Bobby Witt. That's a nice picture. I love these. Uh, they're more like action-based pictures. That one's kind of badass. I'm not going to lie you too. <sighs> yeah, we got these. We're getting a lot of the same cards. Ooh, stretching out. For that roller, there's card. Okay, we got an Eli de la Cruz rookie. Very, very nice. I wish, uh, I think the one of one of this already got pulled, right? But some of them have that one of one. Okay, we definitely put this right here. So we'll sleeve him up. I wonder how those uh, cards are doing. I know everyone went crazy for them at the beginning. Like every card, right? Or every uh, big rookie of X year or whatever. Nick Senzel, I think I the the fifth the number to fifty that I pulled last time. I think it was Nick Senzel, <laughs> which is hey, I'll take it. I, I like the numbering and it's like a gold gold number card, which is pretty cool. But uh, hey, Volpe, let's put him over here. Volpe is always a good guy to pull. Hmm. There we go, Logan Webb. We should be um, nearing where we get any inserts or anything like that. And there we go. I think, is this the 2024 numbered? Oh, no, there it is. We got a four, a card to 499 right there. And it is a Jose Soriano. But let's look at this. Okay. What is this one? Is it like a... some brown parallel i don't get it i haven't pulled because sometimes when you pull these they're kind of like brownish or goldish they tend to be the ones oh there it is the 2024 i hadn't seen the numbering so we got two numbered cards we got the 345 of 2024 that's why i was saying i hadn't seen the numbered yet and and they're always when these like brownish goldish ones they're always the ones to 2022, 2023, 2024, depending on the year that you're opening. Okay, McGee, who went on his retirement tour, and Jose Soriano. That's a nice looking card. A green. I forget what this, um, what the parallel is. It's like uh, the metallic thing for the, uh, like the silver one. So we got 498 of 499. That's kind of interesting. I almost never get them that close to the end. Okay, we'll put that there. And of course, our yellows are these guys. We got uh, Corbin Carroll with the uh, cup on the 35th. Let's see who our stars of MLB will be. We got Julio. We go Louis Robert. And Freddie Freeman, a grand gamers of the great Roberto Clemente. Love that. That one will be uh, over here. I am a Clemente fan. Quintana Williams. And this should be just a bunch of um, base. There's Soriano in the base. And there we go. All right, so just to do a quick, re quick recap, these were the yellow parallels that we got. Of course, this is the two hanger pa hanger uh, hanger packs of 2024 tops. We got that at Gary Cole, the 35th anniversary ones, Carol and a Rosarena. Uh, Rainbow Hollow of Anthony Rizzo, the blue parallel, Merrill Kelly. We got the Cabrera numbered to um, 2024, like the year of the set. As always, we did get this green Soriano, which looks kind of nice, numbered to 499, but not, nothing special there. And of course, we got the Ellie. De La Cruz, even though there's probably like a million of these 
it's always good to pull. He is the rookie that you want in this set. So that was two hangers of uh, Topps 2024 Series 1 from Target. Hey, I can't really complain. I think for, what is it, like $11.99 each? Ah, it's a fun rip, and you get uh, the chance to pull some number cards that you saw or uh, an Ellie De La Cruz rookie, which we will always take. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. Consider subscribing, and I will see you next time. Take care.